I feel like absolute shit right now. I woke up with a massive headache. My eyes are starting to sting from just being so tired. I'm running out of energy. Tonight is night three out of four. Tomorrow morning is the tire change. I'm gonna have to wake up. I mean, stay awake. I just wanna sleep. Like I'm rested, but not at all. All right, so it is confirmed that there is a bed bug on the unit. I have taped up my feet and put the socks on. Of course, the one day that I choose to not wear like full length socks to tuck my pants into is the day that we find a bed bug. We don't know what patient room it is from because it was found in the med room, which means it came from us, like it came from one of the nurses, whoever was working on the table in the med room. I have not been working on the table in the med room whatsoever. I've gone in there, grabbed my medications, gone right back out, haven't touched anything. And I've been on the other side of the hall from where we think the one patient it might might have come from, um, from, the, from that patient. It just sucks because like we don't know which room it came out of because then in that case, then you would just do the bed bug precautions and like, you know, tape the doors, don and doff PPE. You'd have like a bonnet. I have my hair wrapped up, my ponytail in a bonnet. Thank goodness I wore my scrub cap today. And the only reason I threw this on today was because my hair is an absolute mess. So that's fun. It's been busy for me today. I took on an additional patient today. I still have the two patients in step down, but they're not considered step down patients anymore. We've taken them off telemetry. And then I have an additional patient who's down the hall who is trached, uh, like chronically trached. It's not ever gonna come out. And this patient is just a lot of work. There's, there's just a lot of work that is involved with this patient. So trach, peg feed, constant suctioning, uh, nebulizers going. So I have my N95 with me as well. Tape on my socks, hair bonnet, and then I'm wearing uh, just a yellow gown around me, just as like an extra precaution. Also, I'm cold, so there's that. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm watching my show right now on my ipad netflix it is lost in space it's the third season i believe so i'm just gonna watch that and then take a little nap i'm just so exhausted i don't have energy today at all um shift report took a little bit longer because everyone was in a craze about the bed bug situation i changed into a new set of clean scrubs before i left the hospital that way if anything was on my clothes which i doubt because i tape myself like crazy i wouldn't be bringing anything into the car my clothes are in an airtight bag it was a busy night busy 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 my boyfriend actually just texted me and he surprised me he came over last night and he is going to take my car in for me to get the tire changed so i actually don't need to stay awake for hours uh, to get this done so that's really awesome i was kind of disappointed because we found the one bed bug in the med room and we called the director on call and asked what to do in this situation. Basically just asking if we can call IPAC on call to figure out what to do with the bed bug situation. Does the med room kind of need to be locked down? Do we need to search all patient rooms during the night? Do we need to tape around the perimeter of the doors over the night? Like which protocol to follow right now? And like, you know, what kind of direction to take? And they basically said, keep an eye on it and that was the end of that conversation so we took it upon ourselves to go ahead and just call security to get the bed bar the, 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 the bed bug cart delivered to us where the booties and the hair bonnets and stuff was the tape so we taped around the perimeter of the med room at least we passed it on a shift report so hopefully some type of like search is done on all the patient rooms today when all the patients are awake it wouldn't really be fair to search them all while they're sleeping but again like we don't know where it came from and that means because it was in the med room it had to have jumped from a patient to a nurse and then into the med room which is gross so hopefully tonight when i come back in it'll be uh, a new story a different situation some update i'm just driving home 
home right now. I'm hoping to make it back in time to see Adriana off on the bus again. Yesterday I got home and I had about 15 minutes to spare before she left for school. So I took the fastest shower I ever could have and I threw in a tracksuit and ran out the door and gave her a big hug before she left. Really would like to get home in time to do that again today. Cause if not, then it'll be literally a whole 24 hours before I see her again, like from yesterday. Last night shift. This is getting much better. Hi Coco. So, it's four o'clock. I'm up a lot earlier than I normally would be. This morning when I came home, I got to see Adriana quickly before she left for school and my neighbor's daughter brought me a tea. I told her I like peppermint tea one time. This morning she went out and got me a peppermint tea. She's like so excited for me to be done the nursing program. She's wanting to go into the nursing program. So I thought that was so sweet. And then now I just woke up because it smells really good. And my boyfriend, I guess while I was sleeping all day, managed to put up my tree. So one less thing for me to do. And dinner is ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> so good i've been so rushed this entire week that i haven't ate anything normal before going into placement but now i have a whole meal ready <laughs> i'm so happy right now it's a good way to finish off my last night i'm gonna go pick up adriana shortly it's so busy it's so busy um not taking a full proper first break just because of how busy it's been everyone's going for their first break really late it's almost Oh, it's past 11 actually. We had someone who had flash pulmonary edema. That's the first time I've ever heard of that or seen it. And so it was kind of interesting to see like what the whole process looked like on the respiratory unit and how they dealt with that. And RT came up, uh, they did uh, 40 milligrams of IV Lasix push to diurese the patient. It helped a little bit, but not much. I should stop. I need to stop. I have a picking problem. God, stop. On the fourth day, I have all new patients today. I'm hungry. I got to eat tacos with Adriana and my boyfriend before I left, which is the first time I've sat down for a meal like properly before leaving for any of these night shifts this entire week. So that was really nice that everything was like done and ready for me by the time I woke up. It's gone. It's gone to hell. It's gone to hell. So I guess I'm just gonna do this by hand. I'll see you later. I'm gonna eat. Oh. Here's the daughter of Living Likely, fashionista, future veterinarian. Oh, look at the cat. I wish you the cat. Mm -hmm. oh. You wouldn't be a chef if you weren't tasting it, right?